we have to understand that when we back in the box, we need to be confident of where we're at. Um, whether we're going to back in the first steer, whether it's going to be the short go steer at the U.S. Finals, whatever it might be, I want to know that I can back in there, that my horse is going to give me everything I can. This is a chain gag. It's, it's, it's set up where this chain will slide, and I think that allows me to get you know, enough stop and enough pressure on the bars of the horse's mouth that, that he reacts the way that he should. But this bit here, again, like I said, it's, it's, it's fairly functional. Um, it's just a bit that, you know, I, I can ride any time. And this horse here, he really reacts to this bit pretty good. You know, he's a, he's a little stiffer mouth horse. He's got a little more gas than, than my sorrel horse. He's something that I'm gonna ride outside in bigger arenas. And I want control. You know, I wanna back in the box knowing that I'm confident that I can make a good run and put my horse in a position that makes my throw relatively easy. And if I don't have that, then I don't need to be backing in the box, and that's the bottom line. And I think that's why it's so important for us to, number one, professional's choice and myself to be informative to every consumer that can come look at this bit and say, you know what, I think this bit will work on my gray horse. And then you can go to the jackpot and hopefully things turn out good and you cash in on some money. Look at that, save the day with that shot. With this shank and stuff, these bits are, they're mass produced, but we want to get them out to the general public as quick as we can and, and uh, you know, see, see how they do. And what we're trying to do is, is create a great product that's uh, economical, that everybody can afford and enjoy the roping a little bit more. But basically what I'm going to do is, is target, target the, you know, the lower number of ropings. I'm going to try to get out there and, and inform them and teach them the best way possible that, so that they enjoy this sport. You know, because it is an enjoyable sport and we don't want to go and, and not have any fun and lose money. Don't get me wrong, it's not any fun to lose any way around. But, um, this is the new, the new Brit Buckus collection bit, and this is the chain gag. This is the first bit of our series, and we're gonna have clinics across the United States, upcoming in 07, and, and stronger in 08, and make sure that we, uh, we talk about all of our bits and our ropes, and, and try to get professional's choice on the map as big as we possibly can. Hi, uh, Joe Boss, Matt Zancanello, Dan O'Brien, and Bill Johnson, be ready at number 71. Next team, ride right on in there, please. Joe Boss, Matt Zancanello. These guys trying to stay in the average 1098 on their first one. Look at that. Save the day with that shot.